Welcome to the Gold Plus Roundup, the monthly show where we review every single Xbox game for Games of the Gold, as well as the PlayStation and PlayStation Plus games uh, that you get for free every single month. We want to review them and let you know which ones are worth your time, because time is money. And your money was spent pre-paying for these. Starting out with XCOM 2. Uh, the aliens invaded. The uh, story assumes that we lost the war in the first game, if you did play the first game. Uh, it's basically a turn-based strategy game that has permadeath. The stealth and calculated risks in this game keep it tense and keep you wanting to play and kind of challenges you. I think it's pretty good. Trials Fusion is more trials, but more polished. It's great. I mean, it's trials, so it's fantastic, obviously. Uh, you know I love this series. It is a motocross game that is completely over the top, as if motocross wasn't over the top enough. The explosions, the deaths, the traps, everything you like about Trials is in this game and better. Uh, if you're a perfectionist, you'll probably really like this game because you can challenge yourself to beat different times and hit the leaderboard, so it's pretty cool. Next up is Zombie Driver HD on the PS3. Uh, you drive around the city, isometric viewpoint. Uh, it handles kind of like a GTA 1 car in that it's just really unnerving and it's not it's not tight enough it's way it's not even arcadey it's just too swimmy navigating is a nightmare there's a story kind of but it's 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 really bad i would really skip this game uh, there are so many other games to play just skip this tom clancy's ghost recon future soldier on ps3 it's a unit based third person shooter uh, it has online multiplayer and co-op which is pretty cool the tom clancy games are adding a lot of this uh, it's a solid story, solid, solid world. Uh, terrorists are obviously involved in this, uh, but the co-op, uh, the story is really good, but the co-op is really uh, great in this. So I highly recommend this if you'd like to play co-op, you'd like to play a multiplayer, check this game out. Atomic Ninjas for the PS Vita is a multiplayer only uh, game with colorful ninja characters. It's basically Towerfall, but with different skills for the characters, and it's not as good. The gameplay is not as polished. It's not as good of a game, in my opinion. Uh, I would pick Towerfall over this uh, this game because it's it's worth your time. Squares for PS Vita is a fast tapping uh, puzzle game collection that feels like extremely early mobile games if somebody thought it was fun to play with a touch screen because touch screens were new at the time. Uh, it tries to experiment uh, a little bit in this, but really it's not worth your time. Uh, if you want to play something like this, go grab something on your mobile game. Go look for a puzzle game that has high ratings and just play that instead. It's worth your time more than this. Lego Indiana Jones 2 The Adventure Continues is more Lego awesomeness. When I say more awesomeness, I wouldn't say it's the best Lego game, but it's still good. The worst Lego games are still some of the most fun games to play. Uh, it has a lot of the unlocking that you're probably used to. If you've played Lego games, uh, collecting the, the bits and unlocking different characters, and then going through the levels a second time with other characters and being able to uh, go through different areas is really cool. I really recommend this game. If you haven't played this, if you like LEGO games, then you're gonna love this game. Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed is one of the best kart racers that's around that's not Mario Kart. It's so good that Mario Kart stole pieces from this game to put in the new Mario Kart games on Wii U and Switch. That's right, Mario stole from Sonic because Sonic did it better. A lot of people trash on this because they think it's a Mario Kart clone, but it is a really good clone. <laughs> so I would, I would definitely play this game, especially if you like racers. It's fun, the drifting is fantastic in this, uh, the racing is great, and the, the gameplay and levels are really fun. Assassin's Creed Chronicles in Russia this time. It's really good. If you played any of the Chronicles Assassin's Creed games, then you need to kind of know what you're getting into here. This is a 2D platforming stealth game, um, not the 3D open world game that the other Assassin's Creed games, but still really fun. These are a different offshoot. They're easier to, in my opinion, they're easier to play, they're easier to make, uh, and still fun to go through and explore and be able to, you know, challenge yourself in different scenarios and figure out ways to is stealthily get through different areas. It's really good. Uh, I think it's a really good addition to the Chronicles series. And if you haven't played the Chronicles series, go check these out. They're pretty fun. Lastly, we have Smite for Xbox One. 
It's a MOBA and actually translates pretty well from the PC counterpart. Uh, it is, uh, the gameplay's really good. The story is, well, not that much of a story. It's just a big clash of gods of different pantheons and different religions. However, I do find it funny that there are so many religions in here that are mythology, and there are some that are still being practiced like Hinduism, except there's no Judeo-Christian gods in here. It's probably because they get pulled immediately, but I find it interesting how they can put Hindu gods in this game uh, and no one bats an eye, but if you put Jesus in the game, it'd be a problem. I think they should add him. I didn't see him. If he's in there, let me know if I'm wrong because I didn't see him and I, th I think that'd be, I don't know, fun. So let us know in the comments who you think won. Did you think that Xbox Games with Gold was better or did you think PlayStation Plus was better this month in regards to free games? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching This Week in Our Collective Heads. Uh, subscribe over here and click the bell. And that way you'll know about any new videos that we put up because we put up a lot of a lot of gameplay, a lot of stories from games and stuff like that, and gameplay is down here. Yeah, and you got more editorials and news stuff down here. Check it out.